Okay, old Bob, kind of a reckless fellow, milling around these neck of the woods. He's kind of a dangerous guy. So tonight, Bob's taking a flight. And what he's doing, he's going from Seattle, doing to a place called Strom Airport. It's like 54 miles, not very far, right? But remember how we were talking about having to set the correct barometer, the cor correct inches of mercury into the Colesman's window? Let's see what happens to Bob. Look at the look at the flight tonight. There's this just freak high pressure area that came through. Act of God, I guess. You know, it's just strange because look at 2992 standard standard atmosphere altimeter up at Seattle, but look at down at, at uh, our first waypoint here called um, Pierce County 3052. Whoa, that's huge. That's like 600 feet different right there, right? So low to a high, you're going to be high, right? Your altimeter is going to tell you one thing, but hmm, we'll better see what happens to Bob when he goes there. Then all of a sudden, it just freak pressure drops from down at 2912. Remember the standards 2992? 2912, high to low. Remember high pressure to low pressure? What do you do? Look out below. High to low, look out below, right? And then down here, whoa, 2992 is the standard. Look at the pressure down here, 2892. It's one inch of mercury different what's one inch of mercury it's a thousand feet different let's see if bob can figure this out catches that right it's a short flight and the point i'm trying to make is you, this can happen on a short flight not like this you'll never see weird stuff like this but you know hey bob's flying so weird stuff happens to bob so let's take a look at what happens to bob okay he's leaving seattle bob's taking off out of seattle i can't believe they let him fly out of sea tac because there's some big jets there Standard day, right? 59 degrees, 299, 2 inches, 13 degrees Celsius, and 1,013.2 hectopascals, right? Well, let's look at this. Boom. Looks like it's kind of a crappy night to be flying, right? So, right here, let's take a look at what's going on. We're coming up on our first waypoint, right? Remember I said Pierce County is the first waypoint. That was probably like 20 miles away, Pierce County, Cape Hill. The elevation is 538 feet. The altimeter is 3052. Remember, we took off on 2992, so 3052. He's indicating 3,500 feet. You know, he's, he didn't, he's just flying along indicating 3,500 feet. But what Bob neglected to do was to set the new barometric pressure in that Colesman's window to 3,052. Well, what do you think is going to happen? You're flying from a low, lower pressure to higher pressure. So your, your indicated is going to tell you what you had set on the barometer, but the actual altitude, the, the true altitude is going to be a lot higher, right? So let's look at it. We have an indicated altitude. He's showing 3,500 feet. The true altitude where he's at because of the pressure difference, he's at 4,100 feet, but he doesn't know it. He thinks he's at 3,500 feet because it says 3,500 feet, right? And the absolute altitude, again, that's the altitude above the ground. He's 3,562 feet, right? So let's look at the math right here. If you take 2992 inches of mercury and then the current barometer of 3052, it gives you a 0.6, right? So remember, for every inch of mercury, it's 1,000 feet. Well, you have 0.6 times 1,000, and that gives you 600 feet. So he's 600 feet higher. So is this okay? Well, let's take a look. Right here, we have Pierce County, right? So Bob's right about here right now. Well, what do we have here? I don't know if you're familiar with these charts yet, but this is a class Bravo airspace, meaning you cannot fly in a class Bravo unless you've been given a clearance. You know, Cessna 2 on Echo, you're cleared into the class Bravo airspace. Bob never heard that. Bob's VFR, he's looking out the window, drinking his coffee, thinking he's the best pilot ever, right? Because he's at 3,500 feet, but that's what he thinks. But remember, because of the barometric pressure, he's at 4,100 feet. Well, see this number right here? There's a 4,0 with a 10, with a 100 on top of it, 40 below it, and a 100 on top. Well, you add two zeros to that 40, and that makes it 4,000, right? What this is basically saying is you have to be below 4,000 feet or above 10,000 feet to be out of this class Bravo airspace that Bob, who's now at 4,100 feet, is inside that class Bravo airspace, right? Bob's violated a rule. You can't fly into Bravo without a clearance. Well, Bob just did, okay? Okay, so now we have begin the descent. We're coming into Strom Field, and it's nighttime, right? Bad weather. Bob doesn't care. It's a short 54-mile flight. He's done this flight millions of times, so Bob thinks he knows what he's doing. Elevation of Strom Field, 941 feet elevation. There's mountains all over this area. You just can't see them, right, because it's night. Well, the altimeter at Strom tonight is 2982, one inch of mercury different. What's one inch of mercury? A thousand feet. 
high pressure to low pressure a thousand feet lower is that high to low lookout below you start to understand what the lookout below means that the airplane is going to be a lot lower than what it's telling you on the altimeter pattern altitude airport elevation is 941 so pattern altitude is 1900 feet let's see what happens so he sees the town He's coming through 31, and he thinks he's at 3,100 feet. Look at now, he's at 25. He's like, the eh, lights look kind of close, but that's weird. Let's just stop it right here really quick. The airport's right there. You can see it going by us, right? He thinks he's at 2,400 feet, but he's at 1,400 feet. Remember the elevation is 941? Bob thinks he's at 2,400 feet. Bob's going to head down and enter pattern altitude at what? 1,900 feet. Let's see what happens when Bob gets to 1,900 feet. He thinks, you know, there's some lights out here, and he's like, well, it looked kind of weird, but yeah. Now it's all of a sudden dark, right? There's 2,100 feet. There's 20. He's 100 feet above the ground. Boom. The last thing Bob asked himself are, what are these trees doing up here in the traffic pattern, right? That's what he saw. That's what he was. The landing lights lit up the trees, and that was the end of Bob. So now let's take a look at what it looked like actually over the terrain. Now here's the landing in the day. Here's the airport right there. There were the town lights, and Bob thinks this is what it would have looked like in the day had he been in the daytime at the altitudes he was just flying you can see the airports back this way he's in the pattern he's descending down to that 1900 feet so he's just coming up to pattern altitude what he thinks it says 1900 feet on his altimeter the thing though is uh we got a mountain right here and blammo right into it right so that's it. So the big takeaway from altimeters is what? It's you always have to set the right barometric pressure on the cross country flight. They want you to do it every hundred miles. Um, as far as hot, what's dangerous, it's flying from a high pressure area to a low pressure area, high to low, look out below, and anytime you're flying into cold air. And those are the types of questions they're going to ask. If you're flying from a high to a low, will your aircraft be higher or lower than indicated and it would be lower right so those are the types of questions and this is a weird thing it, it when i was learning this stuff i was like i don't get it but you know i've been doing it for so long that now it's like okay when there's less air pressure all the altimeter is is just a sensor that senses air pressure that's it you know again it doesn't It'll lie to you if you don't have the right uh, altimeter setting in there. So anyhow, yeah, high to low, look out below, and cold, cold air, not your friend, but it is your friend in terms of performance, and that comes into terms with density altitude. So, all right, good enough. Talk to you later. Interesting stuff.